I don't know about you, Sexy Mofas, but I love music. There is nothing out there that creates a memory like music through lifetime. So anytime I hear an old song back when I was 15, I can think about every, all those feelings I can almost smell when I was 15, when I hear a song that I used to love when I was 15. Even with the new music, it's the same thing. Every single song that comes out comes always out at a certain period of time in your life and when that song comes back on the radio, you go back to those moments. I love music for that reason. And I feel like a lot of people take a lot of shit for granted. And I don't, I really don't. Every single day I realize how lucky and how amazing it is that I'm living this life. I came to realize that now watching music videos is not as crazy as it was back when I was a kid. And I'm gonna, let me explain you why. Like for example, Eminem had this video without me, I think it is, when he's with Dre inside of a Mercy, right? In a Mercy like one. I remember thinking, wow. That dude's got a mercy, like that's the life I want to live one day. If you go back to even Lloyd Banks when he's driving the 430 Spider in that song Smile, like stuff like that, it, it's always been hand in hand with cars. I don't know if you guys agree or not. For me, it's been like that. It's, it's been aspirational every single time I watch those music videos, I was like, fuck. I want the Bentley, I want the Rolls, I want the, the Ferrari, I wanted all the sports cars, I wanted everything, I wanted all that lifestyle. And now that it's here, it's not as crazy, right? Like there's no champagne flowing around, there's no one like throwing money up in the air as I walk through the car and there's no video hosts like jumping up and down with their big butts everywhere, although that'd be a good addition to the garage. But no here, no there. What I actually wanted to do today is something different. I grabbed this song that I love, 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 and that's Starboy by The Weeknd. Love, 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 we cannot play this song, unfortunately, because, you know, copyright, and we don't want this video taken down and all of that stuff, but Starboy from The Weeknd, one of my favorite songs, I wanna say of all time, I don't care if you think I'm overhyping it or if you don't like it that much. To me, love that song. And he mentions a lot of cool cars. The Weeknd's coming up in the car scene being like the guy that talks about like the most pristine badass cars, so, uh, to quote in his song, Starboy, he talks about uh, one, two, three, four, five. He talks about six cars. And what I want to do is I want to outbold the weekend Starboy. I want to go out there and at least drive one one car that compares to each one of these just because, because I can, I, I feel like I can. I feel like this should be, I'm at that point in my life when I'm able to do this to someone like that. And by no means I'm outbolding the weekend whatsoever. You know, the dude does so crazy well and he's like, I'm just saying, on the music video, for those purposes, we want to show all of the cars or a car that compares to whatever he had on the video. So let me start with the P1. Because in his song, he's got a P1 that's cleaner than your church shoes. That's right, a P1 that's cleaner than your church shoes. So for the P1, that's the one I'm gonna battle the most because I don't have a hypercar in the garage right now. So I gotta figure that out. Then he talks about an old red lamp just to tease you, and that's a Lamborghini. So he's talking about a red Lamborghini. What Lamborghini exactly? He doesn't say. So leaving that open actually gives me a lot of room to play with. The third one, pull off on the Roadster SV. That's a Lamborghini, and that's a Lamborghini Roadster SV. No denying. He also apparently likes the Blue Mulsanne where he's bumping new edition. So, Blue Mulsanne. Apparently the weekend bought his mom a brand new wagon, and now she's hitting the grocery store looking lavish. So a G-Wagon, I, I wanna say wagon, G-Wagon, I'm gonna go with that one. And uh, Wraith with the Star Trek roof. Uh, I believe I have a Wraith with the, that. Well, not, not a Wraith, but have it goes. So, what I wanna do now is find cars that are comparable or the same car that he's talking about, but I wanna out -bowl him, right? So we wanna do a little level above. So let's see how we do. I have a bunch of cars in the garage. I don't want it to be that easy, but I gotta be honest with you guys. If I don't find anything right now on my trip, wherever I'm going to find these cars, I'm gonna come back and use my cars because swipe, that always happens. I'm going out without anything planned, but I'm gonna start with number one, the G-Wagon. The G-Wagon that he bought his mom. I bought my wife a G-Wagon, a G63 AMG, Understandable, that's not the most baller car out there. That's not the most baller G-Wagon out there. So while The weekend was being the man and buying his mom a brand new wagon, so that she can go grocery shopping looking lavish, I bought my wife a G63 AMG, right? Which would be cool, but fuck that. That is the most baller G-Wagon out there aside from a 6x6 or a Landolet that, that is not out. I think this, this one, I got. What do you guys think? A $225,000 sticker price this has to be better than any wagon than The Weeknd can be talking about, unless it's a G65, which came out after his video. So, I don't think so. The Weeknd Zero, one point for Alejandro. 
Now, it would be too easy to just grab the cars right now from the garage. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to see Danny at O'Gara Westlake because I want to show him the G-Wagon. And also, I want to see what he's got there because if he's got the P1-like hypercar, then I'm good to go. But I somehow doubt it. Anyway, I'm going to go see Danny and see what happens. To the car! Oh, wow. I'm already sitting in the car wearing my douche glasses. Perfect. On my way to see Danny now. We can get ready to be outbolt, son. Outbolt by a Mexican dude. Not really, but you know what I'm saying. Just getting to Gara. She's over here. Oh, hey, Danny. Do you mind just loaning me a super expensive car so that I can just say that I drove it? Yes, Alejandro. I will. That's how these meetings go in my head. Look at all those toys. Damn, that Wraith is sick. Too big for cars. <laughs> so Danny was kind enough to loan us a Mulsan right now because in the video he talks about a Mulsan. He says, and I quote, I'm in a blue Mulsan bumper new edition, which I will not be bumping new edition. I'll just be getting in the Mulsan and driving it. That's part of the deal, Danny. Yeah. It's getting in the Mulsan and driving it. So, and I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, this is sick. Wait, this is the one you sent me. Yeah. God damn it. So I, <laughs> so also this is a car that I could have bought, but I, I got my ghost before this. So I think that's fine. I think that's fine. That's valid. Where the fuck does the key go? I'm, you know what? It's keyless. So let me, let me just start. I'm in the blue moon sand. I'm the new edition. Ah, uh, Danny. Can you please help me validate that I'm moving the car yeah. by filming me? Yeah. Moving the car. Do I have to push anything? No. That was intense. That was so intense. I'm gonna get creamed by everyone. <laughs> So be nice. <laughs> and then also, Danny's facilitating a red lamb, but we're not just gonna get a red lamb. What's gonna be a red? An answer lamb. You literally pulled off the craziest thing ever. A red Lambo. He doesn't specify what it is, and you got a Mansori one. All the carbon fiber kit on the back, the wing. Oh, shit. No, this is not a joke. All right, Danny, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Carbon fiber everywhere. Now I feel bad that I'm just gonna move it like two inches. Here goes the official test drive. All right, put my seatbelt on. Get ready for this one. Okay, that was great. <laughs> you know what? Let me just reverse. Incredible. That's how most of our test drives go. Wow, wow. It's, <laughs> this is one of the longest test drives you've given to anyone, right? You <laughs> told right. me this right now. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> lamp, red lamp, check. Okay, I'm gonna throw a disclaimer. In the song, he talks about the new Wraith with the Star Trek roof. I had one of those. I sold it to Danny. It hasn't sold. <laughs> so just to be safe, just for safety, we're gonna do a take inside of the Wraith because of the roof and all of that stuff. So hopefully you guys will be happy. I'm, I'm still gonna use my Phantom drop head to outball the weekend, but just in case you go, well, that didn't have the starlight. Here you go, assholes. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, I'm not calling you assholes. I'm not calling everyone else's asshole. Oh, I missed you. Still smells like new. It's still, no. No, 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 I'm good, thank you. Gotta drive these cars, you know? That's what they're for. Wow. Here we go. Oh my God. Wow. Holy. Wow. Wow. That was insane. Danny, I see you getting the right shots there. Uh-oh. What was that? Uh-oh. It's a little dark and I couldn't see the stars. <laughs> we can't miss the stars. <laughs> there it is. There you go. You got him? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that counts. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay. Going over the list right now. All the red lamb, done. The blue Mulsanne, done. The new wagon, done. The Wraith, done. So we're missing the P1 and the SV Roadster. Now, I just gotta call it a home about eating. I think I can be 
it, it, it'll be fair because I still have to find the P1 beater. I'm gonna use my CGT to beat the SV Roadster. And whoever doesn't agree there, the SV Roadster's down in price, it's not over sticker, and the CGT is still over sticker. So we're looking at a car that's $450,000, and then the CGT, which is at least, at the very least, because of the year, what, you know what, even not getting into that, $400,000 to $600,000, period. No arguing. Uh, so I'm gonna use that, and then I'll go figure out where to get the Bugatti, the LaFerrari, the P1, I don't want to get a P1 because that'd be equal. We need to outball them. So, on it, guys, on it. But first, then sub super sandwich at the office. All right, I was brought back home with the promises of Dan's super subs. Uh, will they be ready? Probably not. But uh, let's see. Are the super subs here? No. You I'm fucking crazy. phonies. I'm so hungry. You phonies. Hey, I didn't sign a release for this. How about that? There you go. All release, buddy. How about that? Back at it. Back at out bowling the weekend, people. The way we're gonna do this, which, again, not gonna happen, but. I wish this was happening way quicker. Oh, Red Lamb, just to tease you. Uh. So, this is what we're gonna do with, with these. The Aventador SV, a lot of people are gonna complain that that's the most ballerific car, blah, 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 than the McLaren. So, so that we don't get into that argument, I'm just gonna pull out the CGT, and this should take care of pretty much every need, because it's a, it's a roadster, if you will, convertible, just like the SV. It's worth more than the SV, and it's way more spectacular, in my opinion, and pretty much, I think, every car guy's opinion. This is more spectacular than an SV Roadster. Not throwing shade or anything. So now with that said, I guess it's time to pull off in the Roadster SV. Ah, pull off in the CGT. Ah. Uh, let me just get Pedro to help me. Pedro, would you please help me uh, pull off in the Roadster CGT? That's right. Of course. Thank you, thank you. So generous. Tight squeeze. Does the weekend talk about how bowler it is not to have a Full-size garage? He may actually be the only person smaller than you. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Put up in the CGT like ah. Okay, so, we're almost there, almost there. And that's not including these bitches. Actually, I just remember that I forgot. We were saying that we were gonna completely outdo them with the Wraith, we already did it in the Wraith, but I gotta pull out the Phantom Drop Hit. So that there's no discussions. You had a Wraith, he has a Wraith, that right there. Aside from obviously the Ghost, which, because we were in the Bentley, I'm gonna also get in this one. We're getting in this one because of the Wraith. So let me bring the keys to these and let's do this. Let's talk about cars, yo. So, just so you guys know, it's talking about a Wraith. The Rolls Royce Wraith is the one that I was in. It's a coupe, it's the small one. This is the Big Daddy. This is the Rolls Royce Phantom Drophead. This is a Mac Daddy of all Rolls's. They don't make them anymore. Naturally aspirated V12 engine, $600,000 price tag. It's as epic as anyone can imagine. This one looks like Al Capone. So, um, Al Capone suits, not like Al Capone, the guy. That'd be weird. Boom. Put it in drive. Pick up the e-brake. And here we go, people. Ah, uh, okay, okay. It's gonna park right here. And it says the situation. Let's assess the situation now. We have officially outballed the Wraith with this and the actual Wraith. Done. Now, 
This took care of the SV, that took care of the wagon. And the last one from the garage comes courtesy. Oh, wow, I was wearing my hat before, so this is a disaster. Okay, I just realized that, so. Oh. Just in case we were wondering about the starlight, but here we go. This is better than a Mulsan. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I love that Mulsan that I saw at Danny's, but this, this spec, the black badge, Rolls Royce Ghost is my favorite. Look at this. Like a penguin wearing a suit. I, I don't know if penguins go to work or not, but here we go. Anyways, let me, let me not distract you here. Ah, oh, all right, BMW. Here we go. The last car of the garage to outbolt the weekend. Let me get confirmation right now. Let's park this right here. Let me confirm. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All set. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> There's just one thing left and that's gonna be what's gonna compare to the P1. But because we're going on Gold Rush really, really soon, I think I might be able to I'll do it by a lot once we're there. So, fingers crossed, and that's what's gonna happen right now. It's my chance to finish this. The 70K man himself. How are you? What's up? I told you I'd be wearing a wrap just like yours, dude. Wow. <laughs> now, I was doing a video. I know I'm always doing this to you, dude. I was doing a video trying to outbolt the weekend with all of the cars that he says in his uh, Starboy Weekend video, right? Okay. So he goes, fresher than a P1, whatever. So I went and drove every single car that's better than his, mm -hmm. but I haven't gotten anything that's better than a P1. Do you mind just me driving this from here to that Mercedes? <laughs> yes? You Thank you, that counts, because that counts, dude. Fuck yeah! Here we go. Here we go. You actually got an extra car link. That was intense. Holy shit. That's all you're gonna give it? You're not even gonna get it all the way up to there? Was, was that the Nissan? No, no, no. There's an F12 right behind the thing. I'm gonna go. Weekend, you have been out bold, son. Right, Coke? Right. Right, Fargini? I'm not Fargini. No, no, no. Hey, I don't know who's where. 